You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you exciting NBA action with Hall of Famer Grant Hill and Brent Berry. This is Brian Anderson. We'll be hearing from Ali LaForce from the sideline. Now let's check out the starters for the Detroit Pistons. Cunningham and Ivy are the backcourt pair. Isaiah Stewart out there with Jalen Duran, And it's Bogdanovich in at the three. And for the Clippers, George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. Terrence Mann is out there with James Harden. And it's Plumlee in at the center position, locking down the middle. We're about halfway through the regular season here, Grant. We've had some surprising teams and players. Yeah, you know, every season we have it, at least one team that exceeds expectations and one that kind of lets us all down. But what I love the most is seeing breakout players that take this league by storm. Now here's Leonard. Turned in an outstanding game against Detroit. Harden can't hit. And here's Detroit. They couldn't put the pieces together last time out, losing to the Clippers. They just weren't careful with the rock. The passing was loose. The ball handling was lackluster. That's not how you win in this league. Well, their defense wasn't exactly solid in that game. So if they could make up for mistakes by causing some turnovers, it might have helped. They didn't even get those. Well, Brett, when you look at the Detroit Pistons, a team that has really struggled recently. Well, that's what youth will do for you. It's really hard to win in this league, and these young guys are learning how to get out and compete on a nightly basis. They are searching for an identity. Hopefully, they'll have the health this year to see some of their young talent really take to it and take those strides. And that one misses. You know, Grant, what's interesting about the Clippers, they play solid defense, even though they're not overly disruptive. Well, B.A., think about this. So many veterans, they know how to position themselves. They know where the help is coming from, too. And, of course, they know when to pick their spots. And Detroit has possession. After the Clippers picking up a basket just a moment ago. Here's Cunningham. No good from the low block. Now the Clippers with it. Pass to Leonard. And the layup is good. Well, the defense just pinballing off of the frame of Kawhi Leonard, determined to score. Here's Cunningham. They get the rebound. Duran with the bucket. Yeah, he's going to work early on the offensive glass. He's so amped up. Sometimes guys come in with a great mindset, trying to push the action until somebody stops him. Nobody there to do it that time. Now here's Leonard. Phenomenal stats on a consistent basis. Puts up over 24 points a game. Pass to Ivy. Back to Cunningham. Shoots over Harden. Stewart. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Stewart really valued for the energy he brings to the game. That and that 7-4 wingspan. That makes a lot of things happen. From 12 feet, Duran with a rebound. For Detroit, they've gone three of six from the floor. Cunningham on the wing, defended by Harden, and that one's good. Cunningham. Yeah, really nothing you could do. Cunningham burying that shot over the difficult defense. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Talking about the Detroit Pistons. This is a team that has lacked star power recently, Brent. Well, they've drafted some guys that are still hoping to be potential stars in the league. And, B.A., there might be a couple guys on that roster right now that can do that. But front office is trying to find somebody where they can put a stake in the ground and say, this is our star, and this is who we're moving forward with. And a new group getting ready for the Clippers. Tice is checked in for Plumley. 
Tucker comes in for Leonard. Norman Powell, he's checked in for Mann. And it's Westbrook in for Harden. And the new group getting ready for the Pistons. Wiseman, he's checked in for Duran. Thompson comes in for Stewart. Burks, he's checked in for Ivy. And Hayes is subbed in for Cunningham. You know, when the Clippers first moved to L.A., people assumed they'd be second fiddle to the Lakers. Not necessarily the case. Well, B.A., to, to be honest with you, they were for a long time. And then they moved into this building. There was a bit of a shift, and the Clippers started dominating the regular season. They don't have the championship, but I'll tell you what, a powerful owner and a couple star players, that'll flip the faithful around for you. Here's George. After the Pistons picking up a basket just moments ago. Came into the league when the mid-range was popular. Game shifted to three, and PG said, I could do that too. Hayes finds Bogdanovich. Pass to Thompson. Let's it go. And Tucker pulls it down. The Clippers have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Here's George. And the jam by George. And you can expect Westbrook to find an open shooter. And uh, trusted him with the pass that time. Out left to the wing. And he lobs it up. And then Bogdanovich with the dunk. The gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. George against Thompson. Powell outside. Pass to Tice. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Tice has got five. Already five lead changes here. Speaks to how evenly matched these teams have been thus far. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time or not? And I couldn't tell exactly what happened. And apparently, I guess the refs didn't get a clear look at it either. They have to get it right because this is a big moment in the game. And the ruling is in. The call stands. No bucket. So no change in the score as we end the quarter. Good move to review that shot. That was really close to counting. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Clippers ahead, up by one. And quarter number two will get underway just after this short break. We hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen from the Clippers? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. Yeah, they did a great job. Just the initial thrust of that attack as soon as they got the ball constantly in transition. And with load management, some say it's the team's job at times to protect players from themselves. How different is that from when you play, Grant? You know, B.A., it's very different. I think teams now are much smarter assessing load and risk and looking more at the long-term big picture of their players. Here are the five. Detroit has to start the second. Ivy at the two with Thompson at the three. Duran out there with Isaiah Stewart. And it's Cunningham in at the point. Now here's Harden. Still without a bucket. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Here's Thompson. Oh, and the jam by Thompson. Well, plenty of give and take so far. Yeah, six lead changes already. Both teams came to play. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. 
Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, some have called Kawhi Leonard a cyborg, but he said, quote, a coach can't put a battery in your back and tell you to play harder to go win games. You have to have the mindset, and you have to train your body to reach the level that you want to play at, guys. No doubt. He is always locked in. Thanks, Allie. Three shots. Three shots. That's good from Harden. Such a versatile guard. James Harden is a triple-double threat every single night. Highland, he's checked in for Westbrook. Second free throw, no good. And he nails the third. And we played through the first minute here in the second. Thompson against Powell. Offensive board. Thompson shot is off. The Clippers in the lead. Harden scanning the floor. Out to Powell. There's the triple. That one is off. Nice D from Thompson. And so Cunningham will bring it up for the Pistons. Last time they met in Detroit. And in their last game against this club, turnovers really were a problem for them. Yeah, that had to have been number one priority for the coaching staff coming into this one, limiting those turnovers and making sure they don't beat themselves this time. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for Detroit. Well, great play down low. I mean, you expect the defense to adjust, collapse maybe, but that should open up things on the perimeter later in the game. Well, not only that, but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game. That's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good. So moving that ball around and scoring off assists, it's a nice way to play. The Clippers trail. Here's Mann in his last outing with 12 points. And stolen by Cunningham. Here we go. All alone, Cunningham finishing the break. And that's some force coming from your 6'7", six, 6'8", six, point guard. That's tough to stop. Grant, plenty of guys show up to the league, accomplished athletes. Asar Thompson is no exception. Yeah, I mean, he and his twin brother, Amin, both possess elite explosiveness, B.A. At 6'7", and a 7-foot wingspan, all the tools to succeed and the work ethic to make it happen. And here are the Clippers now. The Pistons getting their last shot to go. Morris against Highland. And the call will be against Kate Cunningham. That's his first foul of the game. So for the Clippers, Tice comes in for Plumley, And it's Paul George in for James Harden. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. And the Clippers miss again. For Detroit, they've gone four for seven in the second quarter. Here's Sasser. Here's Duran. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Left side Highland. Can they get it? And that's two points on the layup. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. To the left side wing. Here's Duran. Tice grabs the miss. The Clippers have gotten nothing to go out of five attempts so far this quarter. 
Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Outside, Highland. Shot clock at five. Duran with a rebound. Duran's got six rebounds in the game. On the take. Sasser can't hit. Whew, I think he wants that one back. I mean, he knows he's capable of better. Here's Leonard. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's Detroit with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped him build an advantage. Back after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a closely contested first quarter for Detroit. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. What a second quarter for them. They're up by six at the break. A nice lead. Kenny, what's your take on Detroit so far? You have to love a team that pounds the offensive glass. That's going to gain you extra possession. Check this out. Sometimes, just having more offensive chances than your opponent wins the basketball game. And over to Shaq. Now your take on the Clippers. We need to turn up the intensity on D. Lots of guys standing around. Can't allow 50% shooting and expect to win. They need to make it tougher to get clean looks and force that offense out of its comfort zone. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. And the Pistons with possession here. Six-point game. Following this game, they host the Magic. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. Filling out the wings, it's Mann and George. Kawhi Leonard out there with Mason Plumley, And it's Harden in at the one spot. That's the group starting the second half for Ty Lue. And so it's Harden with it. He brings it up for the L.A. Clippers. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for James Harden. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. Pass to Duran. On the wing, Ivy. And there's the lob, and that one is stuffed right through. And I'll tell you what, that's what being unselfish is all about. Ivy finding the open man. All right, let's get a report from Allie. The Clippers are certainly a deep team, and Kawhi Leonard said, we have a lot of talented wings on our team that can play both ways. Dribble, shoot the ball, able to guard multiple positions. And I think that's what you need right now in the NBA. Guys that can guard, switch, and knock down open shots. Brian? Yeah, true enough. Allie, thanks. Now here's Bogdanovich. He's been a big scorer for this offense, averaging around 20 points a game. On the wing man, he's watched by Cunningham. George outside, puts up a deep three. Rebounded by the Pistons. When you think about Paul George, still regarded as an elite two-way player, Brent. Yeah, you get that dynamic play on the offensive end where he's capable of 35 points any given night. But defensively, shutting down a team's perimeter all-star, that is rarefied air for a star player in this league. Here's Mann. After the Pistons picking up a basket just moments ago. Outside Harden. Pass to Plumlee. Got a hand on it. Yeah, anytime you put the ball up near Duran, there's a chance it ends up back in your face. Cunningham with the ball. He's got six. Stewart, the pass to Cunningham. Shot clock at six. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested.
Shooting two. And he makes a first. Now the drive to be great is something that Kay Cunningham quietly possesses, and he has all the tools to be a very special player. Both free throws good from Cunningham. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Out of bounds. It'll be Pistons ball. All right, let's go to the 2K leaderboard. These teams are getting it done in their transition offense. Fourth, the Clippers. They've been playing at a fast pace, which plays to their strengths. The Pistons have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Burks. Down to five on the shot clock. That one goes in. Burks has gotten his second bucket. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. For Los Angeles, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Powell outside. Pass to Westbrook. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Good aggressive play from Russell that time, just pushing off the defender and getting to his shot. Hayes, the pass to Wiseman. Now here's Cunningham. Powell covers. Back to Wiseman. Oh, look at Wiseman. All the tools inside. Like a matador. Ole. There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping points. Two second difference between shot and game clock. And here's George. Averaging almost 23 points a contest. A fantastic offensive player. Can't drop the tough three-pointer. And so it's the Detroit Pistons. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. We'll be right back. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. And on the floor for Detroit here in the fourth. Ivy at the two with Thompson at the three. Jalen Duran out there with Isaiah Stewart. And it's Sasser in at the point. Powell passes to Westbrook. Leonard on the wing. From 18 feet away, Duran with a rebound. Duran's got rebound number seven tonight. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Floats one. Blocked! Powell passes to Harden. Driving to the basket. Here's Tice. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Pistons. They've been all about high percentage looks in this game. Working the ball inside and doing whatever it takes to get it to go. Well, something else I've seen from them in this game is just how quick they are to capitalize on a turnover. I mean, they're pouncing on that stuff. you got to be careful when you're handling the ball around them. Here's Sasser. Oh, 
One minute in now in the fourth quarter. Now here's Ivy. Out to the wing. Clock at six. They get it again. Duran. It's blocked. Leonard looking around. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Good scorers have that ability. When Leonard gets that deep, it's usually a bucket, a trip to the free throw line, or both. Free throw drops for Leonard. And Kawhi pretty solid from the line, and there's been a natural progression to him being effective from the free throw stripe. Morris, he's checked in for the Pistons. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. Thompson against Leonard. Now here's Thompson. Tight defense on him. Good work defensively by Leonard. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests. And that's just enough. Now here's Morris. Pass to Ivy. And we're about two minutes into the fourth now. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. And Ivy has no fear when it comes to getting inside. He's got a strong frame and doesn't mind taking contact when he has to. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that stretches their lead to eight. And when you talk about Ivy, his explosiveness really stands out, especially when he's running the floor. George, he's checked in for the Clippers. Man comes in for Powell, and the switch here also for Detroit. Bogdanovich is checked in. He's off on the free throw, unable to get the second one to drop. And the hope is that Ivy in the offseason attacked his free throw shooting. This has been a weak spot in this game. George, a deep three. The Pistons clear it. Duran's got rebound number 11. To the middle. He's got it. Six of ten now. And Jalen is just taking over in this one. This is how lethal of a player he can be. Bogdanovich against George. And that one, good. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Duran, no good. And so George will bring it up for Los Angeles. They've played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Now here's George. Here's Mann. Pass to Harden. Using his post moves to get the two points. <laughs> and there is no way anybody else has taken that shot. I mean, when it's crunch time on a big possession, Harden is always going to be that guy. And the Pistons call time here. They're in front by six. There's 49 seconds left to play in the fourth.
right time now to present our new balance player of the game, Jalen Duran. Yeah, he attacked the block all game and has been rewarded for it. The fundamentals that he displayed are why he got whatever he wanted out there on the floor. Hey, let's face it. The defense had no answer for him. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for the Clippers. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Monty Williams was saying to his team. And he was emphatic in telling his players not to let up at this point. He told them to stay active on defense and contest every single shot. He said, quote, we worked too hard to get this lead. Let's protect it. Trying to keep them focused down the stretch. And Allie, thank you for that. Timeout called. The Clippers. They're behind by nine. There's 38 seconds left to play in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? They're going to have to get up a quick shot and then foul immediately. For the Clippers, Tice is checked in for Plumley. Tucker comes in for Leonard, and it's Highland in for George. Here's Highland. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Duran with the bucket. And now an 11 point Pistons lead. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. And we know Harden possesses endless range, letting it all hang out right there. Now Hayes. And so it's Detroit with the W. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brent Berry, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.